Welcome to another episode. Let me give you a little wave. Hello. Now, what we're doing is uh, we're introducing Dr. Theo's game. He's gone through awakenings. So the base computer uh, started giving him some stuff, blueprints. He got the uh, hyperdrive, the warp fuel. Uh, That happens during awakenings. Then uh, he went to the, through the quest part, the alone amidst the stars. Uh, when you find Artemis's crash ship, you just get the name Artemis, and that gets you on the anomaly. You should certainly get to at least the anomaly. Then uh, you're going to do the triangulation with the signal booster. You should probably get the signal booster diagram also when you're uh, getting the star chart for Artemis and then you get Apollo's name. That gets you to Ghost in the Machine. So you go Awakenings, Alone Amidst the Stars, and then Ghost in the Machine. You get to Apollo expanding the base. And that's where I am now. Now... Welcome to another episode. Um, Dr. Theo now, who used to be Traveler Theophilus. What we're going to be doing is getting this uh, Dr. Theo advanced. He's going to work on his base in Galaxy 18. So, Salesgek Erger will give me glass which is a useful uh, base decorating material. Now, um, help me expand. What do you get by doing expanding the base? Now, I recommend you do the base computer archives also. For example, you'll get the first storage unit. But the expanding the base, um, when you get the first guy He will give you glass. Now let me see if I could find the diagram for glass. So um, he'll save you the cost of buying glass, the nanites. So the next thing that he will give me is the science terminal. So the science terminal would now be in your base parts. No? I have to give him chromatic metal. I believe I have enough chromatic metal already. Okay, there's the science terminal, and I can see I have 26 out of 40 chromatic metal. Before uh, you do anything, you'll need to make that terminal. And uh, when we get to the abandoned structure, you won't just get one storage container, you'll get all of them really quickly. It's right at the beginning of the expanding the base. So we're going to do that very soon. This way we can get all 10 storage containers. Okay, now um, we're still 
at the beginning. So we have a regular refiner. And we're going to need chromatic metal. So you know, uh, Traveler Theophilus gave me plenty of copper, so this is no problem. In fact, um, if you do expanding the base, you're going to get a bunch of other of these diagrams. And I will show you, I'm going to show you their cost and, and what you say by doing that. So to get glass, you're going to have to get the, um, the first leader, the Gek Supervisor. The Gek Supervisor will give you glass. He'll also have you get the scientist. And I... All right, I'm going to stop it here. We're, we all, you always need more chromatic metal, so doesn't hurt to make more and keep a spot for that. Um, let's put the science terminal. Now let's stick it over here. I pick a color and a material and I use it throughout the base. I'd like to keep these terminals fairly close together. All right, hire a base scientist. Let's do that quickly. I reckon uh, I'm going to do the whole expanding the base and explain what you get for the stuff in the next couple of episodes. So uh, I'll be inserting clips here. Thank you. All right, let's try the galaxy now. Okay, it gives us the science symbol, so that's where we need to go. We need to get different names for the designs of these things. See the Corvax on the wall? And you see the science symbol floating over that guy right there? Now remember, you have to have that science terminal made, and then you hire the scientist. There's the scientist now. And, um... There's Selzgek Urgerv. My scientist name's Operator Entity Vadino. All right, thank you for watching. We will pick this up in another episode.